Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Meraki Versary YouTube Hop. We are celebrating a second anniversary with Crafty Meraki. And I have a couple of fun projects to share with you using some of these new products. Starting with the Party Balloons Mini Slimline Die. I'm gonna die cut this mini slimline into a panel of white cardstock. So I take it off camera, run it through my die cutting machine and it all kind of stayed somewhat intact on the cutting plate. So I left it like that. I'm gonna take each one of these balloons individually. I temporarily adhered them onto some scrap paper and I'm gonna blend the color on each one of these balloons. I'm using my mini distress inks, starting with candied apple. And as you can see, I go a little darker at the base just to give it that dimensional gradient look. Next, we have Kitsch Flamingo. And I do use a little bit of tape runner on that scratch paper to hold that balloon down so that you can blend away. And as you can see, I have all my distress inks in my ink holder, or what's it called? The ink stand by Brian Loveland. Handy dandy little tool to hold all your little mini ink cubes. Okay, so we did spice marmalade. Now we're on to mustard seed. And I'm working my way through the rainbow order. Nothing says a second crafty Meraki versary like a bunch of rainbow balloons. That's what I say. Okay, so we did twisted citron. Now we're on to cracked pistachio. A little bit of a half balloon there, just going down along the bottom. And then, oh boy, I, you know what? I probably not even gonna try to mention all the colors that I used here because as you can see, there's a lot of balloons. A lot of different ways you could do this if you don't wanna blend the color. You could certainly die cut each one of these balloons with solid color cardstock or pattern paper. You could color them with Copics or watercolor. A lot of different ways to add color. You could also turn this into a mini slimline shaker, which I'll do on my, on card number two, I'm gonna turn that into a shaker, but this one, I wanted to blend it, blend it up. Okay, so now we're on to Salty Ocean and there's a lot of balloons here but I'm here for that. I think I've talked about this before, my love affair with balloons. I really do have a love affair. Now this one I've got saltwater taffy. I don't think I have a mini size in that saltwater taffy yet. And then we got wilted violet and a little blueprint sketch to round it out. And I'm using a variety of ink blender brushes. I've got some Simus the Stamp, a little bit of waffle flour, got some Gina K. Anybody else have like a, mil a million different brands of blender brushes? Somehow you just accumulate them. And I do love them. I love them all. Okay, so here I have a white card base. I'm adhering some light gray cardstock on top of that white card base because I'm gonna adhere this balloon slimline outline onto that and I thought the gray behind it would give it a, a nice neutral on neutral contrast. That way you could see the pattern of the balloons a little bit clearer than if I just adhered it onto white cardstock. I didn't quite cut it to size, so I'm gonna trim off that excess on the bottom. All that's left to do now is just to pop on these balloons. And since I kind of kept them all somewhat in the right order on my cutting plate there, I kind of know where they need to go. It's a little bit like putting a puzzle together. I'm using some Barely Arts glue to pop in all these balloon pieces. If you wanted to add dimension, you could certainly do that with a little foam tape. I'm keeping this one pretty flat and that's a little bit unusual for me, but you know what? I'm on a, a celebratory card making kick right now. It's graduation time. I need a lot of them. I popped on a sentiment. This is a Yay You Word Dye designed by Kathy Zilski for Simon's the Stamp and a couple of clear confetti. And that card's finished. We're moving on to card number two. This new die is called the Stargazer Mini Slimline. I'm gonna back it with some clear acetate. I've got some Lawn Fawn acetate that comes in eight and a half by 11, so it's perfect if you need a larger piece like this for a mini slimline. By the way, I don't know if you can tell, but I die cut that Stargazer Mini Slimline panel out of some white glittered cardstock. It doesn't really show on the video, but it is glittery and just screams celebration. And then now I'm backing it with some strips of foam, 
like pre-trimmed strips of foam adhesive by waffle flour fill in it with some sequins confetti sprinkles i just threw everything but the kitchen sink in there popped on the white card base and there you have a full mini slimline shaker again i had a little excess on the bottom i trimmed that down now for a sentiment i'm stamping just a simple congrats this is from another stamp set designed by kathy zilski it's called yay you i just stamped it with versifying onyx black ink and die cut it with the coordinating die and i'm going to pop this right in the center of this stargazer slimline easy peasy lemon squeezy there you have two brand new mini slimline dies by crafty meraki make sure and check out the rest of the meraki versary youtube hop all the information is in my description box leave comments along the hop for your chance to win some amazing prizes thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful day and i will see you next time